The learning environment of Kibungan Igtuba Integrated School are making sure there are places in the room to work quietly and without distraction, as well as places that invite student collaboration, developing materials that reflect a variety of cultures and home setting, helping students understand that some learners need to move around to learn. So, ang first natin makikita ay ang mga garden. So, this is the garden. First, garden at ito yung front kung saan tayo pumasok. So, let's go. Dun, dun. Ito yung mukha ng dito. Hindi pa siya masyado, wala pa siyang masyadong mga chair at tables kasi katapos lang ang pandemic. So, naglilinis pa ang mga teacher. So, ito siya. So, makikita natin ang school clinic. Dito makikita ang school clinic. Dahil pandemic, ito ay closed. So, pumunta tayo sa next natin which is ang Ibang classroom ng bukan habang naglalakad, maraming mga garden. See what's the garden. So, this is the first room. So, the first room is ang grade. Diba? So, ito yung first room na papasok from the main door. Ito yung from main door papunta ng kinder, school clinic, at ang classroom. So, this is the classroom. Classroom, so much classroom. Mga blackboard, hindi pa naka-arrange yung mga table dito kasi katapos lang ng pandemic. So this is, let's go! Another room. sa hallway para i-explore sa inyo ang buong school. Dito naman tayo mag-umisa. Nakita ko or nakita ko na daanan ko ang kanilang hand washing. Hand wash area. So, ito yung hand wash area nila. Kaya Ito ngayon tayo sa high school facility. So, let's so you can see, ito yung high school facility kasi bago lang ito nagawa kasi uh, ito noon ang uh, gibugan ito ba is elementary so ngayon, ginawang integrated school so ito yung mga bagong medyo sira kasi na dumaan dito yung bagyong odet Ito yung mukha ng kantin ngayon medyo sira. Tapos bago lang nilinisan kasi ginawang evacuation center ang ito. 
Ang ito ba? Ang school na ito. So, ito. So, let's go. Another trip. Punta na naman tayo sa ibang lugar. Sa iba. So, all the way. Stay in junior high school. dito sa Gibungan Integrated Gibungan ito ba Integrated School so napuntahan natin ang main door the, the main gate i mean the main gate ang kindergarten school school clinic grade 1 grade 2 grade 3 grade 4 grade 5 and grade 6 also the junior high school which is doon tayo na assign so maliit lang facility kasi integrated school lang siya which is small community that's all bye bye Philosophy of Education Our education is one of the most important aspects in all our, of our lives. We base our beliefs, values, and much of what we know about ourselves in the world on how we have been educated. I am a proponent of the idea that the world becomes what you teach. As a teacher, or soon-to-be teacher, someday we have so many opportunities to impact the lives of our students either positive or negative and it is imperative that teachers are working to affect positive changes i think that the purpose of educating students is to prepare them to be productive members of society once they are on their own scaffolding until students are self-sufficient learners experience expanding far beyond the core subjects and including the skills classes and courses that enhance critical thinking and relevant problem solving skills a school should be a positive welcoming environment for all students and all students should receive equitable opportunities in order to have the best interest of all parties involved teachers students and society at large each of these parties have specific roles that they must fulfill the quality of education that our future society members are receiving does not lie solely in the hands of any one individual it is continuous effort that must be made by everyone
commitment as a future educator. First, commit to lifelong learning. One does not become a successful teacher simply by completing a four-year degree and reading a few popular books on education. The absolute best teachers are those who realize that they will never reach a point at which they have learned everything there is to know about curriculum content and a good pedagogy. Second, commit to serving students academically. Teaching is not and should not be viewed as a selfish profession. Teachers certainly play the leading role within the classroom environment. However, they should not approach the classroom from the perspective of what mistakes their job is yet. 3. Commit to serving students' personality. A wise professor once said that good educators must be able to love the un lovely. Teachers thrive on interactions with students who quickly grasp new concepts and complete their homework assignments on time. Commit to being involved after the school day ends. Although it may sound ironic, some of the strongest classroom relationships are built outside the classroom through teachers' involvement with extracurricular programs including sports, clubs, and service organization. Commit to developing a growth mindset. On average, teachers spend approximately 35 years in the field. An old clique states that some teachers don't really teach for 35 years. They just teach the first year 35 times, then mentally would not serve teacher well, especially during challenges circumstances like the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. Need to be in drama free. The world drama probably is overuse when describing the interactions of adolescent students. However, it is a fitting term to describe unnecessary emotional reactions to issues that generally have no identifiable long-term significance. So that's my commitment as a future educator. Thank you. Yeah.